Hello everyone and welcome to a video on tales of asset time series distributions. So similar to the other video on stylized facts, this video will also be heavily based on the research paper by Professor Rama Khan, who is a professor of mathematics at Oxford. It's an excellent paper and well cited, so I definitely think it's worth a read. So the presentation will be divided up as follows. In the first part, I will make some brief comments about the tails of distributions. Uh, I will then talk about how to measure the deviation of these distributions compared to a normal uh, distribution. Then I will discuss the behavior of moments, especially higher order moments, uh, since these distributions um, are tail heavy. And I'll end the presentation with my conclusion and references. So let me make some brief comments about the tails of these distributions. And already in the 1960s, this was pointed out by Mandelbrot that the normal distribution is in fact insufficient to accurately capture financial time series data. And this non-Gaussian character has been empirically observed repeatedly for price changes. And the distributions tends to be short peaked and heavy tailed. Uh, there's also this idea of time scale differences where properties are more pronounced for intraday time scale. So, now given the three points that I've just mentioned, let's discuss how one could try and numerically uh, get an indication for how much your sample distribution differs from a Gaussian or normal distribution. So in Roma's paper, he discusses the fact that one can use the skewness and kurtosis to measure the deviation from a normal distribution. And just to remind you, uh, these are the formulas for computing the kurtosis, which I will call kappa here, and the skewness s. But you should keep in mind that since you, be, since you will be working with a sample of n data points, you should use the sample kurtosis and sample skewness formulas. In this table from Roma's paper, he gives some explicit numerical values uh, for the following. The S&P 500 futures, dollar DM futures, dollar Swiss franc futures. The kurtosis for a normal distribution uh, with this formula is zero. You can see from the values that Roma has computed here that numerically they differ by quite a large margin from the normal distribution. So the distribution tends to be non-Gaussian, sharp peaked, and heavy tail, which I presented an example here on the right hand side, uh, also from Roma's paper. So the blue curve is a Gaussian curve, and the red curve is the density of 30 minute price changes for S&P 500 index futures. And you can see that it is clearly very sharply peaked uh, with uh, heavy tails in comparison to the Gaussian distribution. Now, since the distributions are so heavy tailed, uh, we would still like to talk about dispersion and variability and to uh, make quantitative statements about it. And to do this, we can use higher order moments. But because of the heavy tailed nature of these sample distributions, uh, the question arises, do, are the higher order moments well defined? Well, there's actually a reasonably simple way to check this uh, that was proposed by Mandelbrot. And the idea is as follows. Uh, represent the sample moments as a function of your sample size. And as the sample size increases, recompute the sample moments. So to show an example of this, let's consider this first plot, which uh, is again for the S&P index futures. Uh, from 1991 to 1995 in five minute increments. And we'll look at the second moment. And on the X axis, we have increasing sample size. As we increase the sample size, we recompute uh, the second moment and Roma has plotted it in this uh, graph. Now, if the moment is finite, then the sample moment will start converging. 
uh, or at least show very small fluctuations around some convergent value. Uh, if not, uh, it will either be divergent or it will exhibit large fluctuations as though it doesn't want to settle around the value. So this first plot, uh, one can see that there's very small fluctuations and it quickly wants to settle to a value such that there is evidence that the moment is finite. So in contrast, uh, we have the second plot on the right-hand side. So this is a fourth empirical moment of a student distribution where the data that Rama is using here is generated from a random number generator. And you can see as the sample size is increased, there is dramatic uh, fluctuations such that the sample moment, the sample moment that we're looking at, at here doesn't want to seem to uh, converge. So in this presentation, we discussed some of the key aspects around as the time series distributions. And the first point that we discussed, which was already pointed out by Mandelbrot in the 1960s, is that the normal distribution is not sufficient. And in point two, we discussed the idea of using the skewness and kurtosis to check how far your uh, sample data in terms of its distribution deviates from a normal distribution. But remember that you do need to use the sample formulas for skewness and kurtosis, since you will have a time series of sample size n. In the third point, uh, we argued that you can use higher order moments to still capture interesting, uh, well, to try and answer interesting questions. Uh, concerning your data, but that one needs to be careful. Uh, one needs to confirm if these higher if these higher order moments do indeed exist. And in the previous slide, I outlined a uh, method to check this uh, by writing your higher order moments as a function of the sample size n. And this was another idea that came from Mandelbrot. And finally, there's still further things that one can do that I haven't discussed in this presentation, but which, but which is discussed at length in Roma's paper. And that's the idea of using extreme values. So if you're interested in further uh, methods concerning uh, the points that I made in this presentation, I highly encourage you to take a look at Roma's paper. So uh, these are my references that I've used uh, in case you would like to read more. And I would like to thank you for your time. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and uh, would like to see other videos of this nature, uh, please visit our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thank you.